And there are two kinds of people watching this video right now. One of them are pastors who actually own pulpits of their own and they regularly come here to know what is happening in the church and the other are Christians who are interested in knowing what is happening in the body of Christ or in the body of men they belong to, that is if their pastor is being mentioned here. And the other set of people who are kind of like those in my community that are open-minded and are just here to make sure they get the facts to the case of what it is I'm discussing today. Now, if you watch me over time, I've made many videos exposing many fake miracles, which I think right now I have to do a reloaded version of some of them because of things I am seeing like this. You see, one thing about social media is that it is very, very interesting how things can go viral. I couldn't believe in my wildest dream that even Americans would be deceived by African magic because it's just so interesting that I came across this video and looking at this man right now explaining and talking about this supposed miracle you see right now which I'm going to show you the Nigerian version and even the Asian versions for you to see that it's not just a Christian problem it's just a gullibility problem you get to understand a couple of things as we discuss in this video. I want to tell you that God is here to do something. This is Jesus Christ, the man of God. Wherever you are, get ready. Pack your loads. Come to Mercy City, all the way to Mercy City. Hey, this time it is war. I have declared war right in your community, right in your village, right where you are living, in the township, in abroad. Wherever you are, the general have declared war. Those people are, who are now plan evil against you. War in the case that which is this called spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. Hey, wherever you are, get me, let me tell you. Anyone that escaped from Prophet Jeremiah, hey, Egila is General Egila is waiting for them. General Egila is waiting for them in order to slaughter them. If anyone escaped from General Egila, hey, General Okafor, Christ Okafor is waiting for them. Now, this time, nobody escaped because enough is enough. Who is that person that behind that your case? You shall never ever be like that forever. This time, I declare war. Those that who are says that they will now, they will now, they will say they will kill you by all means. Enough is enough. Now, let's listen to this man right now as he talks about this supposed miracle he came across online. I will say what I have to say as we go on. All right, let's check out this video. I was told this is a crazy video about an arm being healed, so let's check it out. Uh, when I was a kid, I was lied to about miracles, and I was told that miracles only happened during apostolic age. This is dispensationalism, and it began in 1830s. That's not long ago. The one thing I've learned about this is that there are false teachers out there, false. And I've dug deep. There's a lot of false information out there, guys. Now, at this point, <laughs> I'm seeing the miracle. I mean, I wish I was there. This is visual. This is a pretty crazy miracle. Maybe you can fake a leg being stretched out by an inch, but this is half an arm. If you don't believe in miracles, scroll on by, because, man, this is insane. Man, I wish I was there. Man, praise Jesus. Like, this is insanity right there. Ah, uh, wow, guys, uh, yeah, man, yeah, praise Jesus. I believe in miracles, guys. You probably watching me right now, you believe in miracles. And if you have been watching me over time, being real George believes in miracles. I, I, I'm a product of a miracle. In fact, that you're watching me from where you're watching me right now is in itself a miracle. That you're alive and you have breath in you watching me right now it's a miracle beyond the imagination just that sometimes we are there are certain things we call miracles and some things we just be like oh this is normal praise jesus and that's how people have praised jesus for gimmicks that have been done by pastors themselves how many of them have i exposed before don't worry i'm gonna bring them back again because i want that to him that is also talking about this you see how he talks about his proviso, his research, and I was just asking myself, didn't he even take a moment to read the comments under the video he saw or what he came across? Of course, he's not Nigerian, so he's not in our 
hemisphere or would i say not in our terrain to know our people now now in case you don't know and you are coming across this for the first time please 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 just like this video had thousands of shares and i got to find out about it many people have watched it i've looked at the comment people are saying oh mom praise jesus and all that yeah it's one thing for you to glorify god amazing for his wonderful works that is amazing as well but to whose end or to whose advantage is this? Does this bring glory to God for real? Or it brings glory to the men who are using this woman for what they're doing? So let me give you a news flash. Three years ago, because I'm seeing this video right now and it's already trending here on Facebook on the real section. Three years ago, this woman herself was caught in the act. The news is right now at the top. You could just Google it yourself. About four to five different pastors including this one right here dr chris okafo use this same woman for this acclaimed miracle let's look at the video of chris okafo because he's a popular one
Now the others as well, <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Now you see how the you see how he gets to ask the whole thing as if something is really happening, but he knows, he knows himself. Even though I saw a news that he didn't know that he that she was actually acting, but you claim that you are acting by the spirit of God and you are doing something and then something is happening and you say you don't know. So if she is faking. Of what advantage would it be for her to come to your church and then be faking that a miracle is happening and you don't know as quote-unquote a pastor and then when the woman got caught, you say you don't know. So why would the woman come all the way to your church to come and put up this show for you in your church? Praise to God. Praise to Jesus. And this is what makes people look at Christianity and they say, man, what is Christianity itself? Because sometimes, I must tell you, there are many people who are pastors, preachers, the big ministers who are atheists in disguise. They don't even believe in the God they profess, but because they know the brand Jesus is very popular, oh my God, it is what it is. So you have to understand this right now. These people look at this one right here praying and praying and gullible people right there do you see them in the comment section right now calling me names calling me out that the ones they're shouting amen 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 but the pastor knows what he has staged behind the scenes because they are trying to help you see you see one thing even the bible itself says god cannot be sold by human hands it is by his grace that we are what we are. It is by his grace that I am what I am. It is by his grace that you are what you are. When people like this try to say, because they say they are trying to help God, they are trying to promote God. No, God is God, whether you like it or yes. But when you start staging miracles, are you doing it for God for real or you are doing it for your pocket? Because in the woman's report, when she actually was caught, the idea was that when she gets to do this for the pastors, she gets paid for it. And in the process of that as well, the pastors get to increase their seats, the seats they ask for, or would I say, the pledges people make because of seeing this so-called miracle. Come on. You, the gullible ones as well, that have been caught in many of these gimmicks, have exposed not just of people you will call small pastors, but even the big geos have exposed miracle money scam. Credit scores come. The one that said they work on air. Vomiting money. All those nonsense. I'm going to bring them back again in short videos like this. So you understand that some people would get to see the same videos that have been exposed and reported on and will still believe them as being authentic because of the many misinformations right here going on on social media. And when people like me come out and open your eyes to the reality, I become the Antichrist. I become the devil, right? Oh my God. So interesting. So looking at this situation right now, please, if you had, if you know this man, I downloaded the video. Immediately I saw the video, I had to screen record it just to make this correction because if we in Africa would be this deceived as many have been deceived and are very gullible in the name of Christ Jesus, I'm just wondering what is now happening in the West because these same gimmicks are being exported to the West. Some of them leave Africa and go to the West right there where they get to, they, they get to meet some of our people there, even with some Westerners as well, and they are able to play these gimmicks and mind games for them. It is of no good. And if you are watching me and you are a pastor and you have been involved in any form of gimmicks or trying to deceive people because you have an altar, or because you want to bring relevance to yourself, you know that what you are doing is not in the name of God. You see, I'm not the one that would expose you. You are the ones that expose yourselves by yourselves, by the video you put out to yourselves on social media. All of you that have been watching my videos over time, has there been any video I get to make or commentary I get to make about things that happen in the religious space that, are, that I bring the videos from the moon? There are videos posted by you, statements made by you, and I get to discuss it to open people's eyes to the same gimmicks you put out there. And this one traveled, and that's the social media, traveled all the way from Nigeria and is already 
everywhere and people are typing in the comment this and this not knowing that this is a stage miracle and then someone will do magic for you and then now tell me in the comments what's the difference between this woman and this video look at this one yeah yeah what you see right there of course She's doing it in the name of another religion. She's healing her hand and all that. But if you look critically, this woman and the one that we are looking at from Nigeria are the same. So you are living... <laughs> See, eh? even for Juju Scam Day. Hmm? Even for these, uh, these, these ones you see on the street. Malam Kinika Scam Day. It's just left for you to be able to open your eyes and see the truth for what it is. People like Dr. Chris Okafo and they see me, you don't need someone to even come and come and tell you that this person is fake. Yeah,